guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a um, mini haul, um, not really a haul, I didn't, there was only one of these that I bought really recently, um, the rest have just been over the past uh, couple of years, um, year, uh, but this is um, three things that I have bought from Etsy, um, I have I haven't used Etsy much. It's something I want to get into more. I want to start buying from smaller companies, reviewing them, seeing how that goes. Um, one of my resolutions for this year was to start supporting small independent artists, businesses, stuff of that nature. But as always, money is always the issue. Um, so I thought I would grab the things that I did get from Etsy and kind of show you guys. I'll start with the uh, oldest thing that I've bought, and it is these little face gems. So I bought these face gems um, towards the end of 2017, um, so these are very old. So yeah, so one is of a bat and the other is of like a little symbol with a little pearl going on in the middle. Um, I bought these both from Hex Asylum. Um, on Etsy. I was following him uh, on Instagram for quite a while and it wasn't until I kind of saw a couple of his face gems go around that I was like oh I kind of want one. You basically just stick these on using uh, like eyelash glue um, or any other safe skin like safer skin glue um, but they just generally They just kind of go like that on your face or wherever you want to put it. Generally, these are middle of forehead type of stuff. Um, I've seen a whole lot of um, bigger uh, Instagrammers uh, wear these and I just thought they were just painted on or they made them themselves. Um, I kind of want to make one myself, but I don't, I don't know. I've been wearing um, particularly the uh, bat one for ages. I absolutely adore this. I love it. It looks so good. Um, my only problem is it must have been the eyelash glue that I was using, but the little bat fell off. Um, I think it was a second or third time um, I was using a particular eyelash glue, so I just had to re-stick it on. But that's fine. Apart from that, I've had absolutely no problems with these whatsoever. Um, I absolutely adore them. I love them. They're really good quality. They don't feel cheap. Um, they just feel very lightweight as well. Uh, so they're not overly heavy. Um, yeah, I've seen Hex Asylum bring out loads of different designs. Um, he does necklaces. He does... Uh, face jewelry, I believe he does earrings as well. He does a whole lot of cool stuff. And I remember when I got these as well, I also got a necklace, a little moon necklace. Since moving, for the life of me, I cannot find that necklace at all. Um, but I used to wear that every day. I absolutely loved it. Um, it was it was a free gift. It was just, I bought these two. That came with it with a little thank you note. And... It was just, it was really sweet and I loved it. And if he was to put out more of these little face gems, I would definitely buy them. He's got a couple of different themes going on. He's got like, um, he does some of these in black. He does different types of patterns for the little, like the little crescent moon. Um, he does different types of necklaces, really like exquisite necklaces. He does some with some gems. Um, I've seen some moonstone ones that are going around and I would love to get it, but money... So the next uh, piece of jewellery I'm going to talk about is in this little box. So this is one of the new ones. This is I recently got this um, a couple of days ago. Maybe at the start of the week. It's now the end of the week, start of the week. Um, but this is from Cat Luna's Coven. And I've got a little thingamabobby here. And just all of her details on the back. Katrin Roth is um, the name of the owner, and she's based in Germany, so I thought that was pretty cool. And then I've got a little note here with my personal details on it, so I'm not going to show that. This is what it looks like. 
So as you can see, it's a little upside down crescent moon with blue sparkly paint on it. The best thing about this is when I was looking on the, the pictures, um, you can get it customized to whatever color. She does a whole lot of different colors, pink, green, orange, blue. Um, she has a whole lot of different colors. Um, but one thing I, it was a very nice surprise, was that um, in the picture, this was blue. But I don't know if you can see, it's got a slight bit of purple in it. And it's a lot more prominent, um, not on camera, uh, and it's only when you twist it one way. So I thought that was actually a really nice twist, um, considering just on the pictures that it just looked solid blue, um, so it's, uh, it's nice. It feels like clay, uh, but it's lightweight. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be wearing this a lot more. Um, I love it. It's cute. It's definitely different. Um, it's nice, big and chunky. I don't know if I want to keep the length that it's currently going. So yeah, so this would be the length that it's at. Um, I don't know if some people like shorter things. I kind of do, but I kind of don't. With this one, I'm thinking I might want it a little bit lower down. Um, so I might replace the string for that. Yeah, something else that she does that I didn't actually know until she sent me on this little letter, um, is that you get a free gift with every fifth item you purchase. Um, and apparently on this one, it is a... A creepy eye pendant um, so I'm not too sure what that one is I don't know if it's similar to like a similar style to this one or if it's completely different um, but honestly I'm a little excited to see I will definitely be buying from her again um, like I said money but she does earrings she does necklaces she does a whole lot of um, brooches she does all this cool stuff and I thought it was different and handmade as well handmade hand painted the whole works so I'm really happy with that one. Alright, the last item I want to show you guys is something that I love. Um, I will continue to buy from them. And that is dreads. So these were made by Two Dots Hair um, on Etsy. And as you can see, I've bought a lot. Um, not really. These are just different sets um, back when I still had my black hair. I'm actually in the middle of saving up to get some orange ones to suit my hair. Um, but they do custom colours, they do ombres, they can do different lengths. Um, this is 20 inches, I believe. Um, they've got little faded out bits at the bottom, so it looks very natural. This is synthetic hair as well. Um, I don't believe they do real hair at all. But these are single, single dreads. Which means they've got a little hole up the top there and you thread your hair through and braid that down. Um, but yeah, so I bought a lot of sets. A lot of sets, a lot of colours. Um, mainly keeping with black because that was kind of how it blended into my hair. Um, I've got orange, I've got white, green. Yeah, and I've also got a friend that got a um, pair of red sets uh, from the same company and... They're all beautifully made. I've washed these before and they've kept their shape. Um, they're just crocheted as well, so they're, they're thick, um, but they're not too thick. One of the problems is I've got another set of um, dreads from a different company. And one thing I found was they were very scratchy, they were itchy, they were very thick. Um, so wearing them in Australian summer <laughs> sucked balls, um, just saying. Um, but with these ones, I've worn these in the summer, I've worn these in the winter. Um, they're so light, they're... Basically, when you get them, they're already kind of broken in. Um, so they're not stiff, they don't really scratch at my skin. I've got really sensitive skin, so they didn't scratch and cause irritation or anything like that. Yeah, I've had absolutely no problems at all with these dreads, and every time I get a comment when someone's like, where do you get your dreads? I will always recommend Two Dots Hair, um, they're from the US or the UK. Um, shipping takes a couple of weeks, um, unless you're, if they're pre-made they take a couple of weeks, that's because I'm Australian. 
If they're custom making something, it'll take a little bit longer, but I haven't had anything custom made just yet, so I'm not too sure the process of that, but yes. Something that wasn't in Etsy, but I really wanted to include it because I think it's adorable. Um, I recently, when I bought my hair dye, I also bought a patch online. This little guy right here. Um, I bought this from Berserk when I was buying my hair dye, as I mentioned, and it's a patch. And I wanted to buy it because I like patches. I want to start building up my collection. Um, I've got a jacket uh, that's got a couple of patches so far, but unfortunately in Australia, or at least in my town, um, places that sell patches are just non-existent. I recently went to Melbourne um, to go back to a store that actually sold patches up the wazoo. It was beautiful. My partner bought like something along the lines of like $200, $300 worth of patches there. And it was a thick chunk. So it was a really good value for money. But yeah, we went back there and the place had shut down. And there was no other places in Melbourne to get patches. Um, band patches, uh design patches, anything like that, which was a little sad because that was one of the reasons why we actually decided to go to Melbourne was because of the patches. Um, but yeah, apparently everything's online now unless some of the old record stores have them, but there's not very many where I live, um, so we have to travel a couple of hours for that, but I thought I would mention it anyway because I'm really excited. I think it's cute. It was only a couple of dollars anyway. And it's a lot bigger than I was expecting, um, so I'm definitely going to trim it down and put it somewhere nice. Alright, that's it for this video. I know it's short and I've only got a couple of items to show, but hopefully this is the starting point um, of a bigger collection. Like I said before, I would love to start buying from smaller independent stores um, and artists and having their work, um, like I said, money. Money is always the problem, it's always the issue, and it's a thing that can fix everything. If you have any Etsy stores or even non-Etsy stored artists, brands, anything like that, comment down below. I always love checking out um, the smaller, smaller stores, smaller brands, smaller artists, and just kind of gushing over their work. Alright, thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!